in this video we will see how we can use uh, the ZBTX on CW. So we just switch it on by plugging the power in and basically wait for the ZBTX to boot which will take about a couple of seconds. And once that happens, the waiting for ZBTX to start line will scroll forward. And this will change to the actual setting of ZBTX right now. So there we are. So right now we are actually on a different frequency. Let's go to my favorite seven megahertz. So there's seven megahertz. And instead of 58, I will change this mode to with this. I'll change the mode to CW. Okay. And here I can tune. And when I tune here, you'll see that the bandwidth is about 300 hertz. And my step is just 10 hertz at a time. So I would like to go in steps of about 100 kilohertz at a time. So let me just go off to an empty frequency, 7005. It's about mid-morning now, 9.30 a.m. The band is pretty noisy. I will decrease the IF control. And because I'm not sure that there's anybody on air right now, I'll decrease my drive to zero. So I don't inadvertently transmit anything. Anyways, so now... That's a bandwidth control and it's always preferable to go for a very narrow bandwidth here. And now what you see here is the stripe and you see this red line here. And the red line indicates if you center your signal onto this red line, then it will start decoding here. And it's a pretty sensitive decoder. The only catch with this decoder is that you need to set the words per minute of the incoming CW signal to within about 50% of what the sending is. So 18 words per minute is something that I just leave it there and it manages everything from about 25 words to 12 words automatically without having to change it again. And this is the pitch control for uh, you know how uh, the CW sounds to you. And there are various ways to uh, send out CW. So we'll go with the most conventional way which is to use a pad, uh, a paddle iambic paddle and this we can basically connect to our key here that we're done and now I can start I'm not good at this I'm a straight key guy so let me actually reduce this to about 12 words per minute that I can manage on this So that's the paddle, <clears throat> but the, I mean, if you look at this paddle, this paddle is heavier than the, than this radio itself. If you can just see both of them, this is bigger and, you know, more heavy. So in order for you to do something simpler, if you can type on this text stream, it will send the CW out. So basically you type on this and bring up the keyboard. And when you type, let's say, hello, test, you see that nothing is going on because Right now, uh, the start button, it's, it's not started yet, but the moment you press on the start, then it starts sending out the message. And you can keep it that way. Then what will happen is that whatever you keep typing will keep getting sent out instantaneously. For example, we can do this. but I can even stop it halfway through and then I can type something else here. I can basically compose my reply to the ongoing QSO. And there are some symbols like AR and BT here. I'll explain what these are in a bit, but that's actually the simple thing to do, which is basically to uh, type here. And this is how I'm using CW all the time now. I've just gotten so addicted to this. Now. 
given that your call sign has already been set in here, right? So now if I say here, uh, CQ, it's going to, sorry. So it's automatically filled in my call sign in the macros and it's sending this out now. Now consider that you are in a call with someone, right? For example, my friend uh, VU2XZ. So I'll put in his call sign here in this window called call. This is the call window. And I say VU2XZ here, right? And I'm receiving him, let's say five, and then or 599 sorry he uh, he's given me a 599 uh, and I have also given him a 599 right so this information is, is enough for me to log and if I press the log it will go and get logged but I'm more interested in I can use this to fill this with let's say exchange so it's saying view to exit this is view to ESC or RST 5NN and thanks so it's picked up the call sign from here, right? And it's sent this out. And right now I've configured it to 5NN because that's how it usually happens in the contests. So it's not picking this up, but I can actually change this and edit the macro to actually pick it up from there. So there are a whole bunch of different macros which you can send out here. For example, QRZ, if you don't Right. And once I'm done with this contact, all I do is I press the save button and you'll see that this is cleared, which means that now it's in the log. So you see that that's, it's there in the log. If I need to, if I think that the log has been bad, I can you know just press on, on the knob here and delete this call, which I will do because this is a test call. So uh, that's uh, about CW. It's very interesting and very simple to use CW. I don't even have to carry a large keyer with me or a paddle, and I can actually type the CW out. Uh, the only problem is that being a resistive screen, you have to use uh, some pointing device, and I usually use my pencil, which I carry with me in any case everywhere. So that's about CW, using CW on the radio. I'll follow up with one more video on how to use SSB and other voice notes.